More than ever before, we rely on satellites up in orbit to support daily life down here on Earth. But Canada has lagged behind other nations when it comes to space infrastructure. That could soon be changing. On the East Coast, there is growing interest in rockets, satellites, and launch facilities. And to tell us more, we're joined by Brett Ruskin in Halifax. Brett, what can you tell us about this space race in Atlantic Canada? Well, you know, Katie, there are companies that are vying to be the first ones to launch a rocket into orbit from Canadian soil. And the politics over the last few months has made that launch, that takeoff, even more important than ever. Take a look. Ten, nine. Eight, Inside this rocket, a shoebox sized satellite that took two and a half years to build. It's very exciting to see it go into space. One, ignition. And liftoff of Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go Transport 14. Liftoff was last month and the satellite will soon capture images of Earth. But while many satellites snap pictures and send them back to the surface, this one uses AI to analyze them first. If you can imagine taking pictures of the ocean, most of the cases you're just seeing water not important. So you don't want all that information to come back down. You're looking for a specific surface vessels, for instance. Identifying ships in the ocean or early signs of wildfire in the woods puts this Canadian company at the cutting edge of satellite technology. But for their launch, there was no Canadian way to get to space. Right now, we built the spacecrafts here, but we have to launch them elsewhere. That means relying on the United States. So now we're number one in space by a lot. It's not even close. The strained Canada-U.S. relationship has some questioning that reliance. You know, we went through that with COVID and, and, and the ability to produce vaccines and stuff, the sovereign capability for pr production of vaccines. It's that lesson, I think, that's very real um, that has become more apparent in just the last six months. He and his team are building a spaceport in Canso, Nova Scotia. It'll be like an airport for rockets, where companies can come to launch in a remote but well-supported location. They've already hosted small rockets. Rockets. A company from Europe is coming to launch in October, and more are on the way. They're drumming their fingers and they're waiting, they're waiting and they're ready. So Canada has satellites, a launch pad, now we just need a rocket. A handful of companies are spending millions to develop designs, including one planning a test launch next month in Newfoundland. So that launch is a very important one, historic as well, uh, but it's a low altitude demonstration of our Taiga uh, launch vehicle. He says just like Canadians scoffed at becoming the 51st state, we should likewise defend our space sovereignty too. Sovereignty is more important than ever, means that access to space is as well, just as important a domain as the land, sea and the air. Brett Ruskin in Halifax.